So, welcome to another night prayer. This evening, we are outside in the beautiful nature, joining in creative prayer. So before we start, let us remember that we are all in the holy presence of God. So we'll begin this time of prayer by making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As it's the month of Mary, tonight we will be taking some time to appreciate and acknowledge Mary's fiat, her yes. 2,000 years after Mary said yes in Nazareth, her example still offers us strength to follow God's will in our own lives. So what is it about Mary that gave her the strength and the courage to say, let it be done unto me according to thy word? She said yes to such a big challenge. She was bewildered and unsure. She didn't know what the consequences would be, but she had so much trust in God and so much faith in his plans for her, she said yes. She knew and was sure that nothing is impossible to God. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one. 
the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Mary can teach us a really valuable lesson in this difficult time. When we, are fe when we feel like we're losing hope and we can't stay afloat in the ocean that is life with all of its waves and its undertoes, let us follow Mary's example to become an ark within where God also takes residence in us. One of the most famous apparitions of Our Lady was to Saint Bernadette. In a small French town, a 14-year-old girl saw a vision of Mary. She recognised the awesome presence of this lady and she admired the beauty that she saw. We would have been preparing for our pilgrimage to Lourdes this week to gather as a community and place our devotion towards the grotto where Mary appeared to St. Bernadette 18 times. She's the perfect disciple, the immaculate example of our humanity, the one we should look towards for guidance of how to live our human lives. There are so many qualities that Mary has that we should strive for in abundance, whether that's joy, humility, bravery, strength. Take a moment now to think about those qualities, those qualities that Mary shows. Take your rock, your stone, your pebble, whatever you brought with you to this prayer. Decorate it, decorate it with one of these qualities. A part of Mary that really stands out to you. A part of Mary that you really strive to be more like. If you were supposed to go to Lords this year, imagine that this pebble, this rock, is your piece of Lords. Your own little piece of the grotto that you were supposed to visit.
So when you're ready, take a moment to look at your decorated rock and think about whichever quality you have written down. Ask Mary to guide you, to support you, to be with you like she was her son. Ask her for the ability to be able to pass on these gifts and encourage these qualities in others. To finish this time of prayer together, we're going to pray directly to our Mother Mary, the one who guides us, protects us and cares for us. And as we pray, let us thank her for her yes. The yes that brought us salvation. 
as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, if you've decorated a rock, if you joined with us in that, on your daily exercise, when you go out for a walk, maybe take your rock and place it somewhere for someone else to find it. Let's create a little bit of hope and joy in the lives of those around us, even if we don't know them. Take a photo of where you place your rock and send it to us. And we'll create a collage of all your photos so we can just show how much joy together we can bring so many people. So thank you for joining us again for another night prayer. We hope that you've all had an encouraging time of prayer together, joining us in this community. And we'd like to invite you to watch more live streams that we put out. The next one being tomorrow evening at eight o'clock on the BCYS page. And then at eight o'clock again on Sunday, we also have our youth mass. So please join us again for mass. So thank you again. And we hope that you keep us in all your prayers as we are always keeping you in ours.